Hi guys, this is Adi from Norkal Outdoor. Today I got a project. I want to small project. I want to put uh, the switch here. This is the trim, uh, the trim tilt switch. Uh, so I don't have to go to the uh, to the middle to turn uh, to tilt my engine, my motor here, because uh, I only have switch on the on the gear shift. So I want to install on my mercury outboard here so it is easy when i uh, put this uh, engine support down here i don't have to back and forward between the middle and to adjust it so if i install it directly in here uh, i saw there's a lot of people uh, have it already so this is easier for me uh, i just adjust it i hold it and i fill it up and down so should be easy uh, should be fast uh, i already check it i already open it and the good thing about this mercury uh, if you see this one it has a hole already so this one already built in uh, the, uh, the hole in here so I just need to install it in here I don't need to drill it or uh, make the hole to install the switch I already ordered the part this is the part I got it I ordered it online uh, this is about uh, $30 I believe I uh, don't remember exactly but $30 or $40 I think around that, uh, that price so online I can put the part number on the description if you want to buy it but again this is for, uh, for Mercury or I believe for all other outboard uh, big engine they have the hole in the middle here to, to support uh, the tilt uh, trim switch here so uh, yeah, uh, let's see how that fast. Uh, let's open this and see how this uh, uh, is the part that I got here. So, yeah. So, so this is the part. I ordered it. So you see this part. It's easy. There's no. Uh, they already have a, a, a clip in here, so I don't need to uh, drill or put the screw in here. But the one that I don't like is probably the hole. Or oh, they, they they put the glue here. So they uh, so there's no leak. The water leak from here. But I will still put another uh, silicone glue or uh, anything to seal this. Make sure and also around this to make sure there's no water go inside uh, the engine here but this is still above the water level but i still don't want to have a hole uh, kind of on the bottom there and in, this is the switch you can see the switch here this is mark uh, one is uh, up and one is uh, down here and see let me turn this camera so this is the switch so you can see right this is trim this is a uh, arrow down arrow ups this is up and down the good thing about this i like order this one you can see here they already have a, a split here they split it so this means is i don't have to cut uh, the existing cable i just need to disconnect it and connect uh, uh, uh one of this or so one side the existing one uh to the the tail uh, to the relay, the control uh, relay, and the other one is to the uh, the source. So this is the power. So this this good looks uh, everything's good, and see how to install this. Hopefully uh, something that fast and uh, easy. Yeah, and this is the hole on my outboard engine. So I'm gonna take it off, but uh, before that I need to uh, bring this uh, engine down first. So the engine is down. Now time to open this hole uh, here. Alright, so uh, for the trim switch, you know you will see this uh, uh, relay. There's uh, two relays in here. The function of these two relays, 
there are switches because the cable from the trim is only two cable, right? So they, they if you uh, change the polarization between positive, the cable, uh, one positive, one negative, they will go up. And if you flip it down, uh, change it, flip it, then they will trim down. So this, the, this relay, this function is just to change it. So you will see one uh, power in here, the positive and few negative. They will re uh, switch the polarity between the output between positive and negative. So the ca uh, the cable from the trim itself is uh, this cable. Yeah, this is the cable. So the, the cable is a blue. You can see in here they are blue and green color. So this is the cable again from the trim. There's two cable. There's a big cable here. You can see this is blue and one is uh, green. If this uh, the polarity got changed between positive and negative, they will move the trim on different direction. So this is the relays, and this is, is the control, the one that uh, goes to all the way to the front uh, to the uh, uh, the gear shift. There's another switch I can tilt up and tilt down. This is uh, the only thing I have right now. Now I need to uh, disconnect this and connect it with the, uh, the new switch. They will go all the way to down to here. This is the cable. This is uh, one up and one down and I need to test it which one is up, which one is down. I forgot to check the manual which one so I have to test this which one is the up and down. And uh, this is the hole. That's a pre-hole that already existing. If you see from this, the side inside here. This. Okay, I just need to, to lift this up. Here. There you go. So uh, this one is off. Get off. And that off. I think I can push this. Yes, I can. So I can take this one easily. So the lid is open now. Now you can see this uh, hole. Now, hoping the switch that I have here, they have the right size. If not, then kind of hard. Let's check here. Stream so I can read it. Oh, you know what? Is this too big? I think this is not 100% right size uh, because these clips I cannot push it because they uh, I have to modify, need to uh, cut that so I can press this or I can cut the whole thing and then uh, I use the the existing clips uh, to hold this one so there's uh, two ways I, I can cut this uh, that's one like a that's triangle there that hold this so I can cut it so I can press this or I, I cut the whole thing this clip let's see if I can just uh, uh, cut this uh, triangle so I can push it okay I think I just want to make this uh fast and easy I will just cut it because this one doesn't I don't really need it uh, so I will cut this uh, this this does not function right so like that I cut it Okay, so I can slide it. There you go. This works uh, really good and fits really good. And I will use this. This is from the original one uh, to hold it. 
this will secure the switch so this one will not uh, pop up right this is the cable right so I will take this off this one is uh, just pull it slowly like that so one I uh, got off already and I need the power so you know the power actually here is not connect I mean the opening here but let's see what is the connector on the power power itself yes okay look like I can can install it let's check with again so i grabbed my uh, cable test pan and also my uh, multimeter so the multimeter that i have i can measure the, the current uh, again the the this is the right one for the power look like the power is already uh, open in here it's not connected to anything so i can uh, use it and the other thing this cable uh, have the color code right one is like a, a green and this one is a blue but it's not really uh, clear blue but it's green blue so it should be uh, match with uh, should match with the one that I, I bought here but uh, again uh, I will try it before I re really sure uh, let's see this is the uh, oops This is my uh, multi multi uh, not multi tester. This is the tester, the light tester. This is positive. I can connect the positive in here. One of this. So I got the positive. So if I put here the positive to here, this is it tilt up or down. So I know here. Oops. So this one is for up, and the other one, the green one must be for down all right let's uh, try to connect it Okay. 
Now I can put this uh, engine support easier. That's it guys, uh, so thank you for watching and uh, please subscribe if you have not already. Uh, see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye now.